Hi, today I'm going to be talking about what surface or ground you should be using as an artist and how to prepare it. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Svob and welcome to my channel. I've been teaching and painting for over 30 years and I've decided to start this channel to help you become a better artist. If you stay with us on this channel, I will answer your questions on a weekly basis about how to become that better artist. So I'm going to help you prepare the surface that you're going to paint on. And we call it surface or ground as a painter. All right. Now the easiest way to go about this is to buy something from the art store to work on. And what most artists think of when they think of painting, they think of painting on canvas. Now this canvas here that you can see is already stretched, right? You can see it's stapled on, it has a brace. This is a good quality canvas, you can't see through it, it's fairly thick. This is a good canvas to use if you want to keep your paintings around for a while. If you're not worried about it, you can use a cheap canvas. If you can see through it, you know, buy the cheapest version you can. It's not going to last, but this one's pretty good. Now this has a layer of gesso on it already. You do not need to seal it, okay? But if you're going to paint on other surfaces and you want your paintings to last, you've got to do other things. I brought this one here. This is a piece of wood again. And it has this dark color. These are called tannins. And if you do not seal it, the tannins will come through the painting. So you need to deal with that as an artist if you want your paintings to not see the tannins come through. Now, what I've done here is I seal it first with one of those things I mentioned, polyvinyl acetate, linseed oil, something like that, and then I put on the gesso myself. Now, I do it the way I like. I use a roller. I do it when the temperature is a certain temperature, things like that, and I get pretty fussy about it, and you're going to get fussy too as you get along as an artist. But in the beginning, if you want to just paint it on with a paintbrush, go ahead. Some people paint it on, they sand it, they do different things, but this is acrylic gesso on the top, so you have to seal wood before you do that. If you don't want to get into sealing things and paint on wood, they sell something in most art stores now. This is a bigger version of it. You can see the way it's braced here. This is a birch, all right? And you don't have to seal birch to paint on. You can paint directly on the surface and you can go ahead with that too. That's a great surface to work on. And you can get these in all sizes. The nice thing about wood is that it doesn't sag. It stays stiff, so you can do any size on this and you don't have to worry about it stretching or the canvas ripping or sagging or something like that. I hate saggy canvases. So that's a good choice as well. Now, of course, you can paint on a lot of other things. You can paint on paper, you can paint on silk, any type of cloth. Some people paint on mylar, plastic. There's an endless parade of things you can paint on. You can paint on your friends, you can paint your furniture, you can paint whatever you want. The paint tends to stick on it, but if you want it to last a long time, you want to get a little bit more into that, you've got to research it more. I hope you found this information useful. And I have a handout called How to Fix Your Painting, and you can get it by clicking on the link below. And thank you for watching. 